Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me, Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It's going great, Chris. It's getting cold, but it's all good. Are you excited about Creed 2 that's coming out, Tommy? Yes, I am, Chris. What excites you about Creed 2? What excites me about Creed 2 that Stallone is reprising his role as Rocky and proving that comebacks are things that can happen. Right. And what I like about this movie that it has a lot to do with Rocky IV, um, Dolph Lunger, who played as Ivan Drago, um, is coming back. He has his son, um, Big Nasty, um, from USC. I'm excited about it. So, in the meantime, we do have some celebrity gossip to news. So let's get to it, and here we go. So, Tommy, what is your news story for this week? Lauren Cohen, who is the head of YouTube Music, has recently also expressed his concerns about Article 13, which is the EU's anti-law that protects uh, music artists out there so they can be fairly compensated by putting the onus on YouTube and other companies instead of the person uploading that music video or that music illegally. And he wrote a letter to the EU expressing how he is concerned about people being fairly compensated, fairly treated, but he also wants to reach out to them and sit down with them and ask them to rewrite this article in a way that's clear and not so confusing and won't affect people that do parodies, do tutorials, or other things that help fans introduce people to the music that they love. But he does understand on the same time that People do need to be fairly compensated. So that's where he stands on the Article 13 issue. Well, basically, I can see where he stands. He's got to do what's good for business. He's got to do what's good for um, Article 13. Um, Tommy, you want to talk about what Article 13 means as far as people that are new to Article 13? Article 13 is as followed. It puts the onus on YouTube instead of the creator to be responsible for pro improper use of music by artists from around the world. Great. So, so um, check out Tommy's story down on the section down below. And moving on, we have um, some news on the Brady Bunch, Tommy. Uh, there has been many stories where um, basically TMZ uh, and all other social media outlets have shared the story about the Brady Bunch old house being sold for over $3 million and they're redoing the house. Um, so since somebody bought it, so you had a lot of the Brady Bunch show up like the three boys, the three girls. It was really awesome where they did pictures with the fans, they did promo shots with um, the HDTV. A lot of the neighbors are really upset and pissed off that um, this is going on and this is happening because, you know, obviously there are a lot of fans out there that still love the show and that still watch the show that they don't want the interior to change. They don't want a lot of things to change out there about the house. Uh, yeah, it was great for the cast to show up and do uh, pictures with people and uh, talk to their fans. And I can see how some of the uh, neighbors could be upset because they're so used to that house being a certain way. But you also got to understand is that these new owners, they bought the house, so they, have, they do have the right to redesign it if they choose to do so. Exactly. A lot of the things inside of the house, when you see the house, Tommy, um, a, lot of, a lot of the things that were sh supposedly shot in the house were on a sound stage as well. So um, I've seen a lot of interior of the house and I've seen 
like what's different from soundstage to real thing in the house and stuff? I do know that a lot of shows will do some stuff on location as well as mix it with soundstage stuff. Just because you see one thing, it's not always what it is before it's edited. Anyways, that is all the news that we have. Subscribe for more news and we'll keep you up to date and leave us comments about what we talked about down below. Right, we hope to hear your comments and your feedback about the Brady Bunch House, Article 13, or any other topic you want to bring up as well. Thank you everyone for tuning in and you've been watching Next Level Productions. The channel takes you to the next level. All right. Have a good one, everyone, and see you later. Bye.